for staying with us and if you just tuned in this is y254 business tuesday and tonight we are talking about the new currency we have seen pep uh, Kenyans react in different ways in regards to the new notes that we have seen. Even politicians have not been left at an arm. Speaking to Paul Mwangi, he's a financial uh, analyst, and we will understand at what point uh, should we be wary of this new currency? Is it bringing problems? Will we be able to adjust? So Keep it Y254. Remember to share your comments or questions on all our social media platforms at Y254 channel. And my handle is at Murani Hillary. Welcome to the program again. Good evening, sir. Good evening to you. Good to have you. Thank you. Now, uh, we have seen uh, actually Kenyans and our country, we saw a new note uh, being introduced on Madaraka Day by the CBK president. And now Kenyans reacted differently in regards to this money. And we have seen uh, even the neighboring countries react differently because it will affect them in a way. And for us to begin with, we have seen people appreciating, others don't, uh, not appreciating. I want to begin with you. How do you receive this message? How do you receive these notes? Well, everyone of us reacts in a different way to mm -hmm something new in the market mm -hmm. or in the marketplace right now the currency what uh, cbk is trying to do is to demonetize mm -hmm. which uh, simply means <coughs> they are trying to introduce mm -hmm. uh, to to remove the old series notes right from the system and, or, and coins as well uh, from the system mm -hmm. and uh, bring in a uh, new series notes sure uh, they've they, they've uh, started with the we know that all the notes uh, we have but a new series for the same oh, true. but now um, there is a big problem which is the problem uh, is that uh, people who are not uh, very clean the parallel economy all right the black market has already beaten cbk mm -hmm. to introducing their fake currencies so before you even know how the new currency looks like, mm -hmm. you already have counterfeit. Exactly. So that is one very big challenge. So much as uh, the CBK is telling, uh, is, uh, telling us that we have a new currency, mm -hmm. I won't know how it looks like because I've not touched it. So if, uh, if I got hold of uh, the fake currency, mm -hmm. it will be a problem for me. All right. We, we had an issue uh, the other day in Busia where a taxi driver was paid uh, 3000 for his services mm -hmm. uh, no rather it was in moyale mm -hmm. uh, and he didn't know whether this was a genuine or fake currency yes so unfortunately he ended up uh, getting in the hands of the law okay as a result mm -hmm. because one only one of the three notes were genuine okay so there is that uh, big problem right yeah and now actually now with the problem because this money before it was uh, released to the market it has been advertised like every single day on every um, media platform, even including mainstream media, and it was explained how it looks like. Okay, I may, I may want to understand people from the other side of the country, but again, there were clear indications how this money looks, how even uh, including uh, the touch the feel of it but now we've, we've okay it's true we found people who are coming up with this thing now what should have cbk done before releasing the money because it has brought problems people are getting fake money what should they have done and we had to change unfortunately cbk did uh, everything they could have done but these are teething challenges mm -hmm. uh, it has happened uh, elsewhere uh, the other day it happened in 2016 it happened uh, in India mm -hmm. it started all the way back in uh, 1982 with Ghana so when a new currency is introduced unfortunately mm -hmm. such teething problems uh, are bound to occur all right and there's very little, little unfortunately uh, that CBK can do because remember one of the reasons why CBK is introducing the new currency mm -hmm. is uh, in response to the requirements in the law all right Article 232, uh, sections 2 and 4 of the Constitution requires that uh, we have new currency mm -hmm. that do not carry portraits of uh, individuals. All right. Actually, b before we get there, yes. the money was released. And 
at this point we have information there is fake currency going around because it was introduced uh, uh, lacking knowledge to some of our Kenyans or uh, uh, some of Kenyans, but now it is out here. What should be done? Uh, CBK has to continuously educate the people. Mm -hmm. uh, I want to appreciate uh, Dr. Patrick Joroge. The other day I saw him in uh, Nyarenda, mm -hmm. uh, Nyarenda rather, in uh, Kisumu. He was uh, showing people mm -hmm. what to look for in the currency when they have it at hand, mm -hmm. not uh, on, on, on the screen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So such campaigns should uh, now be more aggressive. All right. Yes. And when they do this, do you think even the people who make counterfeit money have something to bring closer to what is there? With the security features, they will definitely be beaten. Okay. Yes. All right. Now let's talk about the constitution changing the currency. We saw uh, Senator Rengo, among other leaders, uh, saying this currency has been brought, but it still uh, have portraits of, of of the founding father, Mze Jomo Kenyatta. It's against the law. But also there are people who uh, associate or who feel they, they have a relation with this currency because it has this. Unless you see ABCD, this is not Kenyan money. Unless you have seen KICC in our money or something else, you will not know this is Kenya. Like other countries, there are things that you will identify with. Now, what's the problem with having KICC and, of course, the portrait of Mze Jomo Kenyatta? Legally speaking, probably somebody might have a problem with uh, a portrait. Mm -hmm. But remember, this is not a portrait, actually. Mm -hmm. It's a monument. Okay. A monument that carries the image of the founding, uh, our founding president. Mm -hmm. So, the interpretation of the law, unfortunately, we will leave it uh, to the legal minds. All right. Yes. Okay. The, so, the, the, uh, do you feel they they should, according to your own opinion, do you think they should change or it should just stay? I may not have a problem with what we currently have in the currency. So, mm -hmm. if uh, it was up to me, it mm -hmm. would uh, remain. Remember, we have a high cost of the printing the money. Mm -hmm. So ch making a wholesale change okay. to the currency will definitely be expensive to us. All right. We've also have a group of people who are complaining, and these are our brothers and sisters uh, who have disability in um, either partially or a complete blind. They use brails, but this currency has, been, has some strokes. But the brails are, have dots. Now, this is something they feel like we were left out. We were not consorted. They feel like they don't have a sense of belonging. Do you agree with them? The people who were most affected, who could uh, be most affected uh, by the new currency, mm -hmm. are the people who cannot see, right. the blind. Mm -hmm. But uh, other... Uh, uh, what do I say? People living with the disabilities, mm -hmm. like uh, the, partial, the, the partially blind, mm -hmm. fortunately, uh, have been well taken care of. Mm -hmm. So what I believe that needs to be done is mm -hmm. to retrain these people. Mm -hmm. uh, we need to take our time and uh, retrain them because we do not want them uh, being left out. Mm -hmm. You don't want uh, anybody to feel left out by the new changes. Right. So uh, I believe the government can take... Uh, some time to at least train these people mm -hmm. but the majority of the others have been very well trained All right. yeah, rather have been very well taken care of in terms of uh, those bars that you see there mm -hmm. yeah all right now uh, before we get to the economical problems and actually the relations between our neighboring countries and other countries rather we have a problem with the colors and we have a problem with the size there are a group of people who feel this size is very much comfortable. But there are people who believe a thousand K should be big enough like it has been. Actually, it should have been bigger because when you have a thousand K, it uh, means, okay, I'm good. Uh, should, it, should it be this way or we had a better one? In terms of size, honestly, what matters is the value. <laughs> uh, because if you compare the old series, a thousand shillings with, say, a hundred dollars, <laughs> The hundred dollars, which is much smaller in terms of size, mm -hmm. is ten times bigger in terms of value. It's mm -hmm. ten times more valuable. Mm -hmm. So it's not really about the size. Size does not matter. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Now let, let's speak economically. Yes. 
I saw people getting this money and they're like, okay, is this our money? We hear this new money, but they feel like uh, they, they haven't embraced that change. Uh, but now let's look at this, this uh, <coughs> look at this way. Kenya, Uganda. Since its inception, Uganda had a problem in the first few days. They wanted to know the clear communication from CBK, from, from Kenya, that is. Now, how much damage did the change of currency bring in terms of economy? Because you, we have to trade with them anyway. And when I speak of Uganda, I also speak of Tanzania, Rwanda, and Burundi. Uh, one of the reasons why there is some confusion uh, around the borders mm -hmm. is because of the color changes. Mm -hmm. Had uh, CBK maintained the old colors, uh, this confusion will not, will not be there. Mm -hmm. Because if you look at uh, our Kenyan uh, 1,000 shillings today, mm -hmm. it, it, it looks very similar to the Ugandan 10,000, uh, 1,000 shillings. Mm -hmm. And uh, so does the 200 shilling look like they're they 5,000 shillings. Okay. So as a result, of course, uh, CBK had to intervene mm -hmm. and uh, talk to the uh, Federal Reserve Banks, the, the central banks uh, in Uganda and Tanzania, mm -hmm. to freeze trading of the currency. Okay. So that, of course, uh, has an effect uh, around the border because, around the border economies, because mm -hmm. uh, people will still want to trade uh, in, the, in, the, in the currency That's that they're used to. Mm -hmm. uh, like yesterday, not today, today actually, mm -hmm. the Kenyan shilling was uh, trading at about 33 shillings from a high of 37 mm -hmm. two weeks ago mm -hmm. in Uganda, around uh, Busia. So mm -hmm. what does that uh, mean? The Kenyan shilling weakens. All right. In the relation to the to the foreign currency that you're looking at, mm -hmm. uh, so that could uh, be a short-term uh, implication, negative implication mm -hmm. uh, that the the currency could have. And economically speaking, how long will this take? Well, there is a transition uh, period. Mm -hmm. Let's first talk about the thousand shilling note that uh, is being uh, recalled mm -hmm. in totality. Mm -hmm. The period uh, that was uh, provided is four months, exactly four months. Yeah. From uh, January, uh, rather June first yeah, to, to October first. Uh, to October first. That's exactly four months. Mm -hmm. That is sufficient enough time mm -hmm. uh, that will help avoid a liquidity crunch, okay. where we do not have uh, either too much of the currency in supply mm -hmm. or too little of it. Yeah. Either when uh, the currency is too much, uh, we definitely have the inflation, mm -hmm. or when it's uh, too low, uh, we will have the deflation. Uh, deflation. So yeah. that uh, period could be sufficient to avoid that. But we have a group of people who feel like uh, this four months period is very little. We need more. Because actually they may have, okay, there has been a political thing about it, but also people feel like this four months, there's someone who was investing for this one thing of course if the money is in the bank when he gets out it will be the new currency but there are people who feel like no 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 no. we have so much to spend before this time ends and maybe someone is not in the country they have to come back as i'm assuming someone was uh had some money somewhere and they want to come back for them to change do you feel do, do you feel this period is too little I believe it's sufficient enough because, uh, honestly, people should not keep so much money mm -hmm. at home unless it's money that was uh, illegally acquired. Exactly. So, anybody, I feel that anybody who has such money in the house mm -hmm. will not have a problem explaining it to the uh, to the system. Mm -hmm when they take back the money to exchange with the new currency, mm -hmm. why they held those huge uh, sums of money. Mm -hmm. So I, do, I think this, is, uh, this period is sufficient to allow for that. All right. Now, uh, do you think also this four-month uh, uh, four period is in a way to bring some sanity and some discipline, especially when it comes to drug dealing and money laundering? Now, uh, that is what we call the... the parallel economy, uh, in one way, to the small time dealers, mm -hmm. it could have an implication, mm -hmm. an adverse effect, a negative effect to their business. Mm -hmm. But to the big timers, unfortunately, they do not trade in uh, the Kenyan currency. 
All right. They do it 10 million dollars. Mm -hmm. So they may not feel the heat. All right. Yes. All right. As we finish, we have less than a minute. Politically speaking, do you think uh, this new currency is in a way or will help curb corruption? Unfortunately, there is no empirical relationship between corruption and mm -hmm. currencies. It is said some people have money in the house. How They'll have they to change it anyway. How did they acquire it? So there is no empirical relationship between mm -hmm. uh, new cu currencies and corruption. All right. Yes. Many thanks for coming and sharing uh, your sentiments. Our team is up, but we appreciate you coming and shedding some light in regards to the new currency note that has been uh, released by the CBK. He has been my guest, Paul Mwangi. He's a financial analyst, and this has been Business Tuesday. Many thanks for keeping us company back home. My name is Dereva Hillary. I will see you again on a Friday. Stay tuned. Have a good night.